how to live the life that you are destined to live. I just had an amazing lunch uh, with a friend of mine and uh, we brought up a topic about becoming the individual that you want to become. And uh, this gave me some inspiration to do this video. And what I want to talk to you today is about not cheating yourself in life because I see that happening on a daily basis with all sorts of different people. Uh, I see it from people in entrepreneurship. I see people who are working in corporations. I see people who are working for themselves. I see all different forms of individuals cheating themselves out of the destiny, out of the life that they are destined to become. And let me define by cheating. My definition of cheating yourself is not living to your fullest potential, living in this bubble, but not growing out of the bubble, still in the cocoon because it's too comfortable. Uh, it's too nice and safe uh, to leave the cocoon. That being said, let me ask you this. If you're in a current situation in your life, and this can apply for financial, this can apply for health, this can apply for spiritual, for relationships, it doesn't matter. If you're in a current situation right now where you know you can do more, you know, you know deep down inside there's something uh, greater for you out there, I want you to do this exercise, very simple exercise. I want you to write yourself a letter, but the letter is coming from your future self. So right now I'm 31 and I'm gonna write a letter when Amir is 60. And I'm gonna put myself in the mindset of Amir when he's 60, what he has accomplished, uh, how his life is, his happiness, his sadness, everything, everything. And my older self will write me a letter. And you're gonna sit down and this might hurt uh, it might bring some tears, it may be joyful for you. Everyone has different uh, reactions to this process. But I want you to take your time, don't rush through this, but take your time and write a letter to yourself and fold it. And I want you to do this process constantly because I th the, the biggest issue with certain exercises, one-off, is you say, oh yeah, cool, but it, you never really cement it in place. And now I, what I want you to do is every single month, I want you to rewrite that letter. I, you, what you're looking for is you're looking for a paradigm shift in the way you think. You're looking for ways of getting inspiration from yourself because you know what you're capable of. You know, you can listen to my video and you can get inspiration. Inspiration is hoo-ha. If you don't have that inter internal fire inside, if you're not motivated internally, uh, whatever that motivation is, you're, no one's gonna help you out. There's no gurus, there's no nothing of that sort. So that being said, you really have to figure out what you're capable of. And don't be stuck in this whole safe cocoon, in, in this hibernation mode. You truly can do whatever you wanna do. It just, you have to be honest with yourself is, I know I'm capable of this, and I know I have to go through all my fears and go through all these obstacles to get there. And, you, and, and the greatest thing is once you face all these obstacles and teachers, as I like to say in your way, you become a better you. So try this exercise out. Write yourself a letter from the future you. Do it on a monthly basis and kind of recap after three months. You have three letters in front of you and see some consistency because you will see difference between one, two, and three. And hopefully this kind of re-primes your mind and kind of breaks you out of this kind of slump they in a slump, you know, some people, they're cut, they don't realize that they're in this uh, hedonic treadmill. Um, so try it out. Let me know how it goes. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, leave, a, leave a comment below this video. Peace.